Well, Representative Mike Lowry is the lead sponsor for House Bill 1112, and it passed in the House this week. Meanwhile, Mariah Wright with Arkansas United says this legislation is a step backwards for minority communities. We knew coming into this legislative session um, that we were going to have to be on the defense in regards to protecting democracy. Mariah Wright says House Bill 1112 will create more challenges for minority communities. This bill would remove the option for our Kansas without ID to be able to vote provisionally, and we feel that that's just unacceptable. Senator Greg Letting says people without an ID are underrepresented people, such as minority communities and senior citizens. The proposed legislation says if you do vote provisionally without a voter ID, you must be at your county clerk's office the Monday after the election before noon with your voter ID. It wasn't an attempt to uh, prevent anyone from voting. It was just that uh, people have to have confidence in our system. And in today's day and age, I just it, it's difficult to imagine uh, people not having some sort of form of a picture ID. But Wright says obtaining identification isn't always easy. And then in the case of the immigrant community, we have the additional issues of many times um, our names do not line up uh, exactly with how they are on the ID um, and how we might uh, be um, known uh, on other legal documents. And if you're wondering how common it is to vote provisional, Washington County Election Commission Director Jennifer Bryce says around 130 people voted with a provisional ballot and without a voter ID on Election Day. Now, if you do not agree with this proposed legislation, legislation. Wright is encouraging you to reach out to your state senator. Reporting for 4029 News, I'm Kendall Ashman.